Welcome back boys. Today is gonna to be part three, working on the tri-moto. It's uh, still got the axle and stuff on there. And uh, we're gonna get all that stuff off. We're gonna start getting parts cleaned. And uh, I will not be finishing this video until we have some freshly powder coated parts for this thing and can start assembly. So let's get on it. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. There it is, the bare frame. Oh, how much fun did you have with that? Good fun. <laughs> Time to get this stuff cleaned up and get it ready for some powder. Well, we got the frame in the basement. <clears throat> got all that gunk and dirt and oil and crap off of there. That took some time, for sure. Sorry if I sound a little rough. My allergies were kicking my ass all day yesterday, so uh, it tore me up, but we're getting some more work done today. But now that we got this all cleaned up, <clears throat> I did start working on cleaning the motor up. I'll show you a picture of what it looked like before. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. And there it is. Actually cleaned up pretty good. The head and all the fins are pretty stained from dirt. But the rest of it's looking pretty good. But we're gonna hit it with some aluminum brightener and see how, uh, how well that all comes up. And then uh, once we're done with that, we're gonna move on to cleaning up the rest of some stuff so uh, we can start getting, uh, getting things out, getting them ready. say I'm unimpressed would be an understatement I think it really didn't do much except maybe make it more dull like it got some of the dirt off but I don't know if this these case halves are just a weird aluminum because you look at that it actually did brighten this up that chunk of aluminum but uh yeah, the rest of it, not so much. So, needless to say, I think that's just going right in the garbage. Oh, 
was a pretty successful day of cleaning. Got some of this stuff degreased. Axle actually looks really nice. Obviously a little bit of corrosion on some of it, but overall it looks really, really nice still. But yeah, everything is getting clean. We got a couple more things we got to clean up before we can send this stuff out to powder. And uh, yeah, really excited for that. So let's keep going. How's it going? My fingers hurt. My fingers hurt. Oh, well, oh. now your back's gonna hurt because you just pulled landscaping duty. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job. <laughs> All right, went ahead and picked myself up a compression tester here because, well, one, I've been needing it for a while, and two, we need to see what kind of compression this guy is at before we get any further. I know for sure I'm gonna pull the side cover off. I wanna check the all the tolerances on the clutch plates and discs and springs and stuff. And then we need to see what kind of compression this guy's putting out and see if we're gonna end up doing a top end right now or if it's still good. So in the manual it says that at peak compression it should be at about 120, 128 PSI and anything under 114 is considered low. So let's uh, get this hooked up and see what it's at. I'm quite out of breath. I had to step on this thing to really let it rip, but after a few pulls, we did get it all the way up to what looks like 115. So we're actually still within range according to the manual. It feels like it's got plenty of compression too, so I'm gonna go check this against the air compressor, make sure it's semi accurate, but that's a, that's a pretty good result. All right, so everything over here, minus a few things, is getting powder coated. This will be powdered, 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 powdered. Skid plate, powder coated. Peg bar, powder coated. And the wheels, powder coated. All black. This is the few stuff that we're gonna paint because there's too many sensitive areas and I don't want them getting ruined by powder. And there's a lot of parts that can't be replaced like bearing races, and bushings that I don't want to press out and fuck up. So they are getting painted. And we got our Schmexy Eastwood 2K stuff here. We got our 2K epoxy primer and our nice gloss chassis black. Oh yeah. All right, boys, things are moving pretty quick, I know. But here is my indoor homemade paint booth. And as you can see, we are getting ready to spray some stuff here. Yes, that is a box fan with a filter on it. I might die. But I did get myself a nice 3M respirator. So hopefully I don't die. Well, uh, the indoor paint booth was a success. These all came out real nice. Very nice. I did, however, tear it down. Uh, it got way thick in there, and when I started spraying the frame, there was so much overspray in the air that it landed back on the piece while it was drying and kind of dulled it. But with about two seconds of polishing, I took the overspray off and it actually shined up real nice. Come on, focus. You so. That was after a quick polish on that bar. That's still oversprayed. So, a little bit more work to polish this up, but still, still came out pretty nice though.
And there it is. All polished up. Looking real nice. Along with all the rest of the parts. All dry, ready to rock. That was a lot of work. It probably took me a good two hours, I'd say, to get uh, this whole thing polished up. But, you know, you live and you learn. At least I was able to fix my mistake. And it uh, came out really nice, so. At least now I know for next time, I need to get a better setup when I'm doing any sort of painting. I had absolutely no ventilation and it was kind of rough. Probably shouldn't have done that. And uh, yeah, all the overspray made for a lot more work. So maybe in the future I'll uh, have to get an actual paint booth set up if uh, this is something I keep doing. But you know what, kind of kind of enjoying it. I'm liking this resto project, so. But now that we got all that done, um, we're waiting on a couple things, some gaskets and stuff, because we need to go through the clutch side of things. I want to check all the specs on the discs and plates and the springs and make sure those are good, replace what we need to. And then after that, the motor can go in. But while we're waiting for stuff, I think uh, now that we got some painted parts, we should probably start assembling a couple things. Get the axle on, get the triple tree back in, and uh, yeah, kind of start to see what it looks like. And just like that, assembly has started. Got the triple clamps in there, some nice fresh grease. Obviously waiting on the top plate for uh, powder, so we just stuck that stuff in there for now. But put the axle in, sprocket on, brake disc on. That's all looking good. And uh, our chain adjuster there as well. But yeah. Well, what do you think? Did we do it right? <laughs> Does it look good? Hey, yeah? Is that good? I don't know what you're doing. Okay. But I think that's gonna be the end of this one. Um, I know I said it's gonna wait till we got powdered parts back, but uh, fresh painted parts is basically the same thing, right? And uh, you know, we got to start assembly and I think this is a good stopping point for now. Next one, we're gonna go through the motor again. We're gonna check on the clutch, check the specs on the discs, springs, and plates. 
and then uh, we'll also be picking up fresh powdered parts and we'll do a little bit more assembly on this thing. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Until next time, peace.